Color vision deficiency is an underrecognized and poorly understood condition. We see color through specialized cells in our eyes called cones. Humans have three of these cones that absorb red, blue, and green light respectively. While people with normal vision will see the full visual spectrum, people with monochromacy see only one color. Dichromacy is where all of the cones of one type don't function at all. Anomalous trichromacy is where all cones work, but one type doesn't function properly. These three types of colorblindness have several subtypes. Deuteronomy, or red-green colorblindness, is the most common of them. Colorblindness affects about 4% of people. It is more common in men than women because it is linked to the X chromosome. A carrier mother and a non-affected father can have a carrier daughter, a non-affected daughter, a non-affected son, or a colorblind son. The mother can pass either a normal gene or an affected gene to her children. In order for a daughter to be colorblind, she needs to inherit the gene from both parents. Colorblindness can also be caused by eye injuries, diabetes, pressure to the optic nerve, cataracts, as well as drugs and other medications. The most well-known colorblindness test is called the Ishihara test. Because this test uses numbers, it is not suitable for younger children. The Farnsworth Lantern Test and Farnsworth Munsell Tests are other tests used around the world. These tests require identifying and organizing different colors. People with color vision deficiencies often have trouble with tasks such as choosing clothes, picking fruit, dealing with traffic, or becoming a pirate. The risk of becoming colorblind varies by ethnicity. For example, European and North American Caucasians are more likely to become colorblind than those of Chinese or Japanese descent. There are several treatments for colorblindness, such as corrective lenses, devices that translate color into sound, as well as numerous tablet and mobile applications. There are even special languages that assign different shapes to different colors, such as the color ad system used in Portugal. Most people won't realize that they're colorblind. If you suspect that you suffer from a color vision deficiency, check with your eye doctor. While not considered a serious disability, this condition can disrupt everyday life and in some cases pose a serious safety hazard.